Should we do the song last? Last then. Oh, okay. Oh, one, two, oh, three. Oh. Oh. The song is child. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Thursday's child is dressed up with no place to go. Friday's child is Saturday, out there running wild. Since she's been the king of hearts, they call her Sunday's child. Sunday's child. I've got videos, audio. He does. Randy outtakes. Oh, enough to blackmail me for a lifetime. Well, Though I have nothing to pay him. <laughs> well, maybe cookies. <laughs> if I if I call you guys pioneers of Jesus music, what's your reaction to that? High in the skies. <laughs> no. <clears throat> well, we just happen to be there. You just know. happen to be alive. I don't. I don't look at myself as a pioneer. We just happen to be there at the time. That's true, but it also um, it also makes us grateful because we we know it was God's timing and God's hand of generosity, doing things with our gifts far richer than anything we could have imagined. And um, well, what so, do you think? This is Jiminy, cartoon manifestation of all things good, a personal friend of our Lord and Savior's. <laughs> Don't confuse me with facts. Thank you. Now, see, I happen to. To get on Wikipedia this morning. You, you never know what if you can believe what you read on Wikipedia, right? But they said a Randy Stonehill show was kind of like a manic, you know, comic show. And I, I'm starting to get the idea that that might be true. I'll ask him when he comes in. <laughs> uh, ever since the tractor pinched my head as a small child on the farm, it's been 
more of a faith experience getting up in front of the folks. <laughs> it's a, no, for me, I, I, it's a combination of, of uh, celebration and worship and challenge. And so uh, the, the bottom line is I, I try to be in the moment, make friends with the audience by letting them you know, see my heart. And, and also, the fact of the matter is, if you bore them, you lose them. <laughs> it doesn't matter how sincere you are. Then the title of your next CD is, hey, come back, I, I got better. <laughs> Hey, I really appreciate you guys uh, playing a song for us. And hey, it, it really shines welcome. through, Phil, that you and Randy, you're such great friends. You have such a great time together. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We did a whole album recently. It's coming out very soon called Mystery Highway. And it's uh, it's 11 of our songs and one of Mark Hurd's songs. Awesome. And so Mark was a good friend of us, of ours. How did how did this come to be? What when did it come to be that you guys, hey, let's do an album together, let's do some of our old stuff, and let's do a Mark Hurd song? You know, it, it, um, it really was born naturally just out of our friendship. Um, I would come to Nashville from the West Coast uh, to write with various country writers, which has just been a, a joy and a challenge for me. And uh, knowing that my good friend was in town, I would just try to coordinate some time to just hang out and have lunch. But doing what we do, loving what we love, inevitably we would start, we'd pull guitars out and we'd start kicking around song ideas. And the first one actually, that was the genesis of the record, is a, a song called um, Irresistible Future. And it was a little sort of ditty that I had. Uh, and I remember showing it to Phil and I watched him get this kind of little glint in his eye and he said, you know, I think I know where to take that. And he started to <laughs> do what he does so well, which is to construct a musical the rest of the musical kind of infrastructure, and um, and then he uh, he got a, a smile on his face and he said, you know what, let's let's go down to the the studio and blow this down and see what we get. So that's really how it began. That's it. Yeah, we go down there with. Does our Randy do a good impersonation of you? I mean, he just kind of he put his Phil voice on there a moment ago. Is that pretty? <laughs> I, I barely do a decent uh, impersonation of myself. It's more of a challenge these days. Yes. I, but hey, we did all right on Sunday's Child. We you sounded did like awesome. we did 22 years ago. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm in total agreement with that. You guys blew me away. Oh, well, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. It's the cayenne pepper. What do you take? Uh, just the <laughs> tight socks. Oh, help me get my high note. A lot of spandex. So is there going to be a tour? <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a mini tour. And, uh, and we'll see if more dates come out of that. The, 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 the band is Randy and I and Glass Harp. Awesome. And also a friend of ours, Mike, Mike Pacelli. How do you spit that out there? Mike Pacelli? Very quickly. Pacelli. <laughs> Pacelli. Yeah, it's a fine Turkish name. Yeah, it takes me right back to Istanbul. Oh, I miss the fjords. What? No, he, he's, yeah, he's a childhood friend of, of Phil's and a great yeah. guitarist in his own right and, and a great engineer. But So he's jumping in. And then, like I said, Phil just said, um, which is not that you really need me to speak for you, but I'm kind of digging it. So anyway, <laughs> Phil just said that he, we're using the, uh, the rhythm section from his original band, Glass Harp, and these guys are just thunder. So then for me, I get to be the happy kind of Tom Petty acoustic guy. I get to be the happy rock sandwich in the middle of the, the configuration there. It's going to be fun. I'm telling you, I'm giddy with excitement. I am, and as an older man, to be giddy about anything is just really cool. Phil, do you remember when you first met Randy? Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> do you remember anything about that? I do. It, uh, it, was, a, it was a concert. Glass Harp was playing oh. in Cincinnati, Ohio, an outdoor concert at some stadium or something like that. Uh, Larry Norman was on the bill, and Lamb, which was uh, Joel Chernoff and Rick Levi Coghill, and um, Glass Harp, Randy, myself. And we got rained out uh, after... Joel's set, right? I mean, um, Lamb's set. Or it could have been a mystical power of mine that I'm not really aware of because God, I was playing, it was like windy and it was drizzling. Oh, they were playing. It's like God's natural hair mousse, you know? It was really working for me. <laughs> but yeah, then they, they, dra they um, dragged it all indoors, and I remember sort of drying off in the back, and Phil got up with the man, um, and I, it just dropped my jaw. I could not believe how good it was. And, um, and then... Uh, Larry Norman, who I worked with at the time, Larry Norman and I sort of cornered him and said, Look, why don't you come back to the, to the hotel? Let's, we'd just like to talk shop and talk life. 